everyone, it's Sierra from The Home Blondie and in this video I'm going to be reviewing our Macy's Bradley sectional and in the second half of this video I'm going to show you how I deep clean our sectional. I do have two dogs, one of which is a golden retriever and they both shed a ton so I want to make sure that we keep this sectional in tip top condition so I will show you how I deep clean it towards the end of this video. So a little bit of background so that you have some context for this review. So we purchased this in 2019. So at this point we have had this sectional for almost three years. So I feel like it has held up really well, especially because like I said, we do have two big dogs who do get on our furniture. And we purchased this sectional during Macy's end of the year sale. So I think it was just right at the beginning of 2019. And I will say at that point, they had told us it would come in in like a couple of weeks and we didn't end up actually getting it until April. And that was like way before like the pandemic and all of the shortages. I know it's really hard to get furniture right now. So I would just keep that in mind. I would expect uh, at least a couple of months from the time that you purchase it from the time that they will actually deliver it. Also, I would never buy this couch at full price because it is always going on sale. Like I said, when I bought it, I think it was around $2,000, which at the time was a lot of money for us. It's still a lot of money for us, but I feel like the quality and the size of this sectional is totally worth it for that price range. Actually, at the time that I'm filming this video, I just checked and it's actually on sale right now for just a little more than $2,000. So yeah, it's always going on sale, so don't buy it at full price. So this sectional comes in different configurations. We have the five piece sectional, so you can see the chaise lounge is one piece. These two cushions is the second piece. We have the wedge in the corner for the third piece. And then each of these cushions would be four and five. And you can actually select whether you have the chaise on this side or on that side. And then in between each section, they have these little brackets that clip into each other. So like when you're sitting on it, if you're moving around, they won't like move apart from each other. It's all connected, but it does make it easy to clean because um, you can like unhook them and separate them so you can vacuum underneath and stuff like that. So I really like that. It is kind of difficult to get them hooked back together, but I do like that you have that option. So this sectional comes in tons of different colors. We have the Heavenly Mocha Gray color just because with the dogs and everything, I wanted a darker color. And I'm not exactly sure what this fabric is, but it's pretty soft and durable and easy to clean. So when you are customizing your sectional, you will have the option to have a wedge like this. So it's going to have this like extra leg room here or just a corner piece. And I highly recommend getting the wedge. This is my favorite part of the entire sectional. I feel like it's the coziest area and I sit here every night cross-legged just like this. And um, I'll always have like a pillow on my lap with my laptop <laughs> working as I'm watching the TV, which is right behind the camera. And then my dogs will usually be in here just like cozied up right here next to me. And yeah, I just, I love this part of the sectional. So I highly recommend getting the wedge rather than just the corner piece. And plus you'll have more leg room too, which is really nice if you have multiple people sitting on the couch with you. So one thing that might be a negative for you is that these cushions, they are not like attached to the couch and they do get like a little slouchy. So it's not really a big deal to me. I will just like flip them over every couple of months or just fluff them up. And they do have these slip covers. So this entire couch is like 
it has these slip covers over it. So you can take these off and wash them, but it is a major pain to get them back on the cushions, especially like the ones that you're sitting on. So you'll see at the end of this video how I clean it. I completely stopped putting it in the wash because it was such a pain. Also, every time you wash it, tons of these strings will need to be cut off and it is on the inside. It's just like the, where they cut the fabric. So it's not a big deal. It's just something that's really annoying. But yeah, inside of all of these cushions, they have this like type of insert and it can just be like fluffed up. So this sectional does come with pillows, not these pillows. They're going to be the same material as the sofa. And it's up to you, but I decided not to use those. One, they're not super comfortable, and two, I feel like it makes your sectional look a lot more high-end if you um, switch out the pillows. So I actually ended up just donating mine to Goodwill, but I wish I would have saved the insert. So just like the cushions on the back of the sectional, it's going to have that like insert material inside. So you could either unzip the pillows if they do have a zipper, I don't remember, or just cut off the fabric. And then my favorite place to get pillow covers is H&M. They have a ton of different colors, a ton of different styles. That's actually where I got all of my pillow covers and then you can just put the insert inside of a more decorative and a more comfortable uh, looking pillow. I actually do have more pillows coming so I'm constantly switching out our pillows and it's really taken me like three years to get our living room decorated the way that I like it. So I actually have a couple more pillows coming from H&M that I'm planning on putting in the wedge area. So whenever those arrive, I'll probably post a picture on Instagram. So if you need help with like styling your pillows on your sectional, then make sure to check out my Instagram. It's just at the home blondie, or I'm sure I'll have pictures on my blog, which is thehomeblondie.com. And something that I feel like is kind of tricky with sectionals is you don't have a lot of room to place like food and drinks. If you have guests over and you are offering them like a drink or you have little snacks. So if you have room to put like a table behind your sectional, um, we actually have our desk right here. Then the people who are sitting on this side can just place like their um, cups or whatever right behind them and that's really nice and then we have a coffee table here in front for anyone who's sitting on this side of the sectional and then you could even put like a little table um, next to the chaise lounge if you wanted to and then this is our coffee table so it will either fit obviously the way we have it or turned like going the long way. I prefer having it like this because I feel like you have more leg room to get around it and this is just a cheap coffee table from target and we like it but eventually i think we might get a circle coffee table or a round one just um because i feel like it might fill the space a little bit better and then we have a 9 by 12 rug underneath our sectional so we could have probably gone with like a 10 by 14, I think would be the next size up, but this works well for us. And the rug is from Amazon, so I will try to link everything that I can in the description box. We absolutely love this sectional. It was probably one of the best things that we invested in for our house. We always say if we end up moving and we get a house with a basement, we will probably just buy another one of these because it is so comfortable. As you can tell, the cushions are really big so you have a lot of area to sit and spread out it's perfect whenever we have guests over we always have enough room for everyone to sit like in the same area and people are always complimenting our sectional actually my parents and my husband's parents both looked into getting one for their own houses um the only thing is it's really big so you have to make sure that you have enough room obviously but like i said there are 
different configurations so you could make it smaller if you wanted to. But I think that is it for the review portion of this video. So comment below if you have any other questions and I would be happy to answer them for you. And now we will get into how I clean our couch. So the first thing that I'm doing is picking up all of the pillows and blankets and I'm just setting them on this chair next to the camera. But I'll take off all of the slip covers and put those through the wash. Next, I'm using my Chom Chom lint roller that I get from Amazon. It's just an amazing lint roller for pet hair. All of the hair just gets put in this little bin here and then you throw it in the trash. So when I first got this, I was a little confused on how to use it, but you basically just push it back and forth along your furniture. Now, I don't think that this would work if you have like a leather couch or something because it almost creates like a static friction between the fabric on the lint roller and the fabric of your couch, but it seriously, it works so well. I have yet to find anything that works better than this. So I just go along the entire couch with this first and then I'll vacuum because I feel like this picks up the majority of it. So here you can see how much hair I got off. I honestly hadn't done this in a couple of days. I really need to do it like every single day, but look at all of that hair. So now I'm just taking all of the back cushions off of the sectional, but I am trying to keep them in order because it can be really confusing to figure out where they go if you get them mixed up because they're not all like the exact same size. So here you can just see how I have them lined up in order. And then I'm taking off all of the seat cushions and also trying to keep those in order because you'll have the same problem. And I used to take all of the slip covers off of these and put them through, through the wash, but now I just use a little upholstery cleaning machine. So I'll show you that here in a minute. But first I'm just using the handheld portion of my shark vacuum with a little attachment and going through all of the little crevices of the sectional and picking up any crumbs. Now I'll use a different attachment for the actual hair that's still <laughs> stuck to the couch um, because that works a little bit better but I love this shark vacuum if you have pets that shed I highly recommend this one I don't know the exact name but I will look it up and I'll link it in the description box below So now I'm just filling up the water tank to my upholstery machine, which I believe is called a Bissell Crosswave, but I'll look up the exact one and link it in the description box below. But all I do is fill it with water up to the fill line and then I add my cleaner and I use my Thieves Household Cleaner. So when I tell you that I use this for everything, I really do. I clean our bathrooms with this, our floors, and obviously even our furniture. So it's a very, very powerful cleaner that you dilute in water. So I'm just adding two capfuls here. There are exact measurements on the bottle, but I just kind of wing it every time. And it has a very mild scent, so it's not like overpowering at all. And it's non-toxic, which I love. So once you plug in the machine and turn it on, you can hold down the button on the handheld brush and it will start spreading out the soapy water. And then you can just use the brush to like scrub it in. And then if you go back over it without holding down the button, it will suction up all of the water. So I love that because one, it's like actually suctioning up all of the dirt and two, it helps with the drying time. So then I'll actually just just put the cushions back on the couch and let them dry and it usually takes like an entire day to dry so I'll usually do this in the afternoon and then they can dry overnight. 
So next I'm just fluffing up the back cushions and putting them back on the sectional. I usually don't need to wash these. I feel like I can get them pretty clean just by using the lint roller and the vacuum. But then I just need to get the pillows and the blanket covers out of the wash or the dryer and put those back on and put them back on the couch and then we are all finished. Okay, so it's the next day now and I just put back all of the pillows and my blanket after I washed everything. And then I just take this, it's a little spray. It has essential oils in it, water, and a little bit of witch hazel. And I make these myself. I like to switch up the scents every couple of months. But then I just kind of go around and give the entire sectional and the pillows and the blankets a little spray with this. And that just makes it smell nice and fresh. I actually will do that every night when I'm cleaning up the living room. And then I mentioned this in an earlier part of this video, but I do have some extra pillows coming like for that area of the couch and then right there too. And those are coming from H&M, so I will make sure to link those in the description box below. If you are looking for pillows for this couch or if you kind of wanna stay in the same color palette. But that is it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and I will be back very soon with another video. Bye!